I can't do it. I need a thesaurus. Thesaurus? I need a thesaurus. I am so tired. I said thesaurus. What is that, like a mix between a thesaurus and a dinosaur? Hey, shady baby, I'm hot like the prodigal sun. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Unapologetic Skincare and Beauty and I'm Stephanie. So, I was feeling super lazy today and you will see that with many things about my atmosphere. First of all, didn't set my backdrop up because I am feeling so lazy and it's such a pain in the butt. Didn't do my nails, they're jacked up. I'm not perfect. Far from it. And my hair. I didn't straighten it, I didn't blow dry it. It's been raining literally for three weeks here. So I didn't think there was really a point. So we've got the braids, we've got really jacked up nails, no backdrop. This is just, we're winning here. What we do have today is a great product to talk about. This is the Ordinary Series, and if you're not familiar with the Ordinary Series, let me break it down for you really quick. So the Ordinary Series is a series that I talk about one of the Ordinary's products each week, not five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten like other YouTube channels can do. It gets overwhelming and it gets complicated, especially with all the ingredients and what they're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to use them with. So I've created the Ordinary Series and there is a playlist which I will link you to. And this way you can kind of refer and reference back through each video when you just want to know what one product does, what one product interacts with, and how to use one product. So today we are actually talking about the Ordinary Sunscreen. This is the Mineral UV Filters SPF 30 with antioxidants. The Ordinary gives you 50 ml of this product for $9.70, which is really inexpensive for sunscreen. I am a sunscreen lover, and I've been searching and searching and searching to find a really great sunscreen that offers me the protection I need, but since I wear it daily, I really needed something that worked well under makeup. And if you've ever tried to wear makeup over sunscreen before, it's not easy to find one that works. I mean, typically they can be really greasy or oily, so it ends up causing your makeup to separate and break up over the day, or you end up looking way oilier than you need to, way sooner than you would have expected, and they don't usually work, especially the chemical ones, but this is a mineral sunscreen, and mineral sunscreens are much better for your skin, and they are always the sunscreens I look for when I'm putting a sunscreen on my face. Physical sunscreens work by basically sitting on top of your skin and blocking the harmful UV rays that way. They include mineral ingredients such as zinc and titanium oxide, and those are actually really the best ingredients for blocking all sorts of UV rays. So UVA, UVB, it's like broad spectrum, blocks them all. Another good thing about physical sunscreen versus the chemical sunscreen is a physical sunscreen is going to work almost immediately as soon as you put it on, whereas a lot of chemical sunscreens, you know, there's always that direction where they say put it on and then wait 20 minutes. You don't have to wait 20 minutes, you can put it on and you're ready to go. In direct UV light, physical sunscreens last longer. The only place they don't stack up against chemical sunscreens is in water. So if you're sweating a lot or you're going to be going swimming, then you would want to reapply very often, like every two hours and reapply thickly because they don't hold up well with moisture. But on a day-to-day -day basis where you're just getting up, going to work, you know, living your everyday life, it's a much better option. If you're gonna be at the beach or swimming or you know going to the water park for the day or you're running a marathon and you know you're gonna be sweating your ass off, then yeah, I would probably use a chemical sunscreen, especially if you don't have the option to reapply as often. But the reason I don't like chemical sunscreens is they can be really irritating on the face. So I don't mind using them on my body, and I, I typically do, but I don't like using them on my face. Chemical sunscreens cause basically any heat-activated skin conditions like redness or rosacea it causes them to be worse because it basically absorbs the heat into your skin. Physical sunscreens are much better with those kind of skin conditions to use than the chemical sunscreens. Another thing is that physical sunscreens are much less likely to cause skin conditions, so they are much less likely to clog your pores. They're much less likely to cause irritation or stinging, especially on sensitive skin. So overall, for your face, a physical sunscreen is your best choice and your best option. So let's talk about this sunscreen and why I really love it. This is actually the best sunscreen for my face that I've ever used. And on top of that, the price is so reasonable, so I think it's literally the only sunscreen that daily I'm going to ever use again because I don't need anything else at this point. Now, the SPF on here is 30, and I typically like to go with a higher SPF, 
but when I went to purchase this, the 50 SPF was sold out. So when I do repurchase, I will probably get it in the 50 SPF just because I like having a higher SPF on my face in general. What I love most about this is how awesome it looks under makeup. So that's, like I said, always been my struggle about putting sunscreen on and then having to put makeup on over it. It almost deters you from wanting to use a sunscreen because they make your makeup look so bad. So if I find a sunscreen that I can apply every day and makes my makeup, in my opinion, look better than it did before I put it on, I'm here for it. This does contain some silicone, so I think that is a reason that it, it does act so nicely under makeup because it smooths on your skin really nice. Silicones can cause people to break out. Silicones in the past and ordinary products have caused me to break out, which is why I was a little hesitant to use this, but I said, I'm gonna give it a shot. If it makes me break out, I'm gonna find out within a couple of days and then I'll just stop using it, no harm, no foul. This did not make me break out at all, so I don't know why that one product from The Ordinary, the vitamin C with the silicone, that made me break out constantly. Thinking back now, could have been a combo of the vitamin C, which can cause purging, and the silicone together. So maybe I'm okay with silicone. This did not break me out at all. It doesn't cause any agitation. I don't know if you've ever applied sunscreen to your face and you feel like a tingling or a burning. This does not cause any of that. So it looks so beautiful under makeup. I do my skincare and then I'll put the sunscreen on and it does cause a white cast, which a lot of people have said they have issues with. To me, I'm so light skinned already. It makes you look really, really pale at first. I find after a couple minutes, because I'm not going right in with my makeup afterwards anyways, but after a couple minutes, that sort of fades a little bit and it's not as dramatic. But I can see if you're going out without makeup that some people would have an issue with it. But that is sometimes what a physical sunscreen can cause. Because of the zinc oxide and the titanium oxide in like their natural kind of form, it's gonna look a little white. I don't mind it, it doesn't cause a big issue for me. I know some people have had a lot of issues with it, but I, I, I just don't care about it because I'm always usually putting makeup on anyways afterwards or some kind of like BB cream or tinted moisturizer. So it's more important for me that it performs well under makeup so that I'm more interested in using it on the day-to-day -day basis than that it causes kind of like a white sheen or a white cast, which I do think fades after a couple of minutes. After I use the sunscreen, I'll go in with a primer. And I have found using this, I don't have to use as much primer, so I'll typically just going with my primer here like on my cheeks where my pores are bigger and a little bit on my nose and chin and then right here but I'm not putting it all over because this does the job really really well <laughs> it just like splattered out and hit me like right in the chin it's probably still there is it still there so I'll show you really quick it's not even like straight white it kind of has this I don't know um, grayish tint to it like I don't know when you're painting to like fill holes Spackle maybe it's called, but it looks like spackle to me. It doesn't smell bad. It does have a tiny smell, but it's almost like a natural smell. It does not smell chemically at all. It smells like natural, like earthy, like kind of like dirty, not in a bad way though. Does that make sense? Dirty, but not in a bad way. It smells like lush products. You know, if you ever go into Lush, everything kind of smells like cocoa butter and just kind of like raw and organic. And this is what that smells like. So this is what it looks like when you put it on. And yeah, you can see there's a white cast, but then you're going to rub it in anyways. You're not just going to kind of hang out there and leave it on your skin all white. And then it's not dramatic. I mean, it's definitely a little whiter than I actually am, which is pretty white anyways, but it's not dramatic at all. Overall, this is really, really great. It makes my makeup look so much better. It acts like a primer, and even though it has silicones and it has oils in here, I don't find with like with other sunscreens that have oils in them, I do find that it does separate and make me look oily. This never ever does. It goes on so smooth, it's not gritty or grainy, it just really absorbs into your skin and you could see as I was rubbing it in, it absorbs into your skin almost immediately so it's just a really, really good product and I'm really, really happy I found it and I'm going to say really, really again. That was too much guys. I'm really, I can't, do I have a different word than really? I'm incredibly happy that I found this. And I, I really suggest it to anybody who really wants, oh my God, I said really, oh my God, I can't do it. I can't do it. I need a thesaurus. Thesaurus? I need a thesaurus. I am so tired. I said thesaurus. What is that, like a mix between a 
thesaurus and a dinosaur, a thesaurusus. Guys, forgive me, I'm usually not this out of it, but I think I got like three or four hours of sleep last night, so I'm kind of feeling like the mental draining effect that happens when you're sleep deprived. I highly recommend this to anybody who wants to start getting into wearing sunscreen on a regular basis. And I always, always encouraging you guys and anybody I talk to in like everyday life, they should be wearing sunscreen every day. Every single day. It doesn't matter if you're going outside. It doesn't matter if you're gonna be outside for five minutes or five hours. You should be putting sunscreen, especially on your face and the neck area, because this ages really quick too. You should be putting that on every single day. And if this makes it easier for you to do, because it's cheap and it works awesome, then get it, because it's great. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up because I don't wanna embarrass myself in front of you anymore. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any more questions that I didn't cover. I try to get to every single comment on my video all the time, and I usually do. All right, guys, stay kind and stay beautiful, and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye. Is done.